What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and I'm about to battle the defense form Deoxys, my personal favorite. And I don't know if you could tell, but it is a very windy day today. So I'm excited because we're going to get the windy weather bonus, but I'm a little bit worried because a 100% defense form Deoxys at windy weather bonus is a little bit higher than Great League level. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get a good one, but yeah, I'm just really excited for this. Alright, the egg is just about to spawn. Here comes the fence form Deoxys. Oh, there it is. This is my absolute favorite of all the forms. I cannot wait to catch this thing, or at least fingers crossed we catch it. We have just defeated the defense form Deoxys. It is a 16 something I don't know exactly. So that means it's not going to be good for the Great League, sadly. But maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get this on the first couple balls. Come on. All right, there it is. It is a 1609. So I don't know how good it is. It is wet and weather boosted. I'm going to set this camera down so I can actually catch this thing. Well, the wind is definitely starting to pick up. Hopefully you can't really hear it because uh, I did make a little wind muff thingy. So hopefully you won't be hearing as much wind, but it's bad today. So let's see what happens. One. Oh, didn't get it on the first ball. Let's get another golden raz in here. I'm going to wait for this thing to attack. There we go. And throw. Another great curve. Not bad. One. Mmm. Come on, attack me, you fool. Attack me. Do it! There we go. Throw. Ooh, excellent curveball. There we go. Let's make this one the one we catch it on. One, two, three. There we go. First time we ever get a Deoxys on a good throw. All right, let's appraise this bad boy. He is simply mazes with attack. Blown away well. Wow, a 15 attack defense form Deoxys. Amazing. Well, I'm super happy we got the defense form Deoxys. Again, it's my absolute favorite of the forms. I'm a little bit bummed out about it CP because it's not going to be usable in the Great League. But nonetheless, I have another pass coming in for next week from a friend, so I'm really happy. We'll get another chance. Hopefully it won't be windy then. But yeah, anyways, let's go home now and let's talk about some brand new shiny Pokemon that are coming very soon to Pokemon Go. And we're back. So the first bit of news is that we now know what the new April Community Day Pokemon is going to be, and it's going to be Bagon, and I am very excited about this because Shiny Bagon, in my opinion, looks pretty good. I love the green color, plus he's one of my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon, and when he evolves into Shellgon, still looks pretty good, Shiny. It's got a nice greenish tone to it. I like it. And when it finally evolves into Salamence, I, for one, love Salamence. I love the green body. I think that the orangish tint on the wings is fantastic. Like, I know a lot of people seem to hate on green shinies, but I love this one. Another reason why I'm super excited for shiny Salamence is because it gets a mega evolution. Mega Salamence looks really cool, and I can imagine this thing being a pretty heavy hitter when it comes to PvP and the raid system. Again, we don't know how Megas are gonna even work in this game, if they're even gonna add them. I expect they're gonna come around as soon as Gen 6 is about to drop in the next year or so, but yeah. I'm excited for that because, I mean, I love shiny Pokemon, and I think shiny Mega Pokemon are amazing too, so yeah, I can't wait for this. Now this Community Day will take place on April 13th from 3 to 6 p.m., and the bonuses are going to be 3 times catched XP, which is okay, I'm not much of an XP guy, so I don't really care about that one. Obviously, we're going to have 3 hour lures, and again, there's going to be an exclusive move, though we don't know what that's going to be yet, we usually learn about that within like a week of the event, but yeah, there's a lot of cool things it could be. It already gets Draco Meteor, so I don't think it's going to get that they may give it outrage which would be pretty cool i'd like to see it as uh, salamence with outrage but who knows maybe they'll add something new maybe they'll give it dragon pulse as well like there's a lot of possibilities there but tell me what you think in the comments down below and the second bit of news i wanted to go over is that pokemon go is having another earth day event and it's technically all niantic that's just doing this so we're also ingress is going to be involved as well and basically niantic is just partnered up with a few other companies and they're doing a bit of cleanup around the world and this is pretty exciting and they have a lot of cool little rewards for this as well 
So if 2,000 players attend, there will be increased ground type Pokemon appearances, which is really cool because Shiny Sandshrew is a pretty rare shiny Pokemon to find, and it's a ground type, so this means that there's increased chances of that showing up. Ken, we don't know exactly what's going to be showing up, but I'm pretty sure Sandshrew is going to be showing up heavily, and I'm very excited for that one because, again, it's super rare. I don't have one, and I want to get two of them because I'm trying to go for the living deck, so 2,000 is not a lot at all, especially because there's, like, millions of people in this game. Now, this one's cool. If 5,000 people end up participating, Shiny Diglett will be added to Pokemon Go. And honestly, Shiny Diglett's a fun shiny. It doesn't change too much, but it does have a blue nose. It looks pretty cute. And when it evolves into Dugdrio, it still has the blue noses. Not very different. Now, I highly doubt it's gonna happen, but maybe, just maybe, they might also release Shiny Alolan Diglett because it's out in the wild, and you know, obviously then there would be Shiny Alolan Dugtria, which is slightly more different. Like, instead of them just getting a blue nose, they also turn like an orangish color, which is fun, but I kind of doubt that because last time when we got Geodude, we didn't get Shiny Alolan Geodude either, so kind of doubt it's gonna be Shiny Alolan, but nonetheless, if they add it, that'd be pretty cool. And lastly, if 7,000 players attend the cleanup, we're gonna get two times Stardust and Candy for event spawns, which is pretty good if you need that stuff, especially the Stardust. We need that for PvP for sure. And Groudon will be coming back to the raid system, and I'm very happy about that because that means Shiny Groudon's gonna come back too. And I know a lot of people that didn't get that yet, so that'd be fun to raid for. Again, I have two of them, but I would like to have more. I'd like to get a really good one too, though I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But yeah, all in all, this is gonna be a very fun event. Now this event is going to take place all the way from April 13th to the 28th, so that means you have two weeks to achieve our goal. We only need 7,000 people to participate to get all these rewards done, and there's literally over a million people that play this game still, so that's not a lot, and that's not even including the Ingress players, so it's not that hard to do. There's some great rewards in it, and it's just good for the planet. We need to clean up. There's a lot of trash out there, and if you can't attend any of these events, don't worry. All you got to do is go out there, do your part, pick some stuff up, as long as you tag at Nyan labs using the hashtag augmented reality hashtag then you just say how many people were there take a couple pictures of you guys there and they'll add you the tally which means you don't have to actually be a part of any of the events you can just do your own thing and they'll still count you and that's all the news I had to go over so while I was editing the video you're watching right now Pokemon Go tweeted out yet another event Man, they just will not slow down, will they? Also, before I dive into that, I turned this the right way around. Don't think you noticed before, but it was upside down. But anyways, let's dive into the event. It's time to bug out. Trainers, are you a serious bug type trainer? Need to work on your bug catcher metal? You can get your incense and catching nets ready for our first ever bug out event. Ooh, and there's a picture of Scyther on there, so that may be a clue. So this event will take place on April 2nd all the way until April 9th. Pretty cool, basically just a week. And the features are gonna be bug type Pokemon will appear more frequently in the wild. Decent. Incense will last twice as long, which is amazing. I'm very happy about that. I use incenses all the time, so now they're going to last an hour. And more Pokemon will appear when using incense. Very good. So now we're getting like double the time and double the mons off of these. This is fantastic. We're also going to be getting some new field researches. Limited bug type field research will be available during this event, which maybe will give us some possible shinies. So yeah, that's really cool. Now I'm not going to lie, this event sounds pretty amazing and I'm really interested to know what shiny we're going to get. So there's a picture of Scyther here, which means we could get shiny Scyther, which is pretty cool. He doesn't change much. He does get a little darker and like his, uh, his little white bits on his legs and arms turn red, which is kind of neat. But but when he evolves into shiny Scizor, he turns green, so that's pretty cool. But I'm also thinking to myself, they fooled us last time with Oddish. Maybe we're going to get something else, like maybe we'll get regionals. Now they didn't mention it, but maybe Volbeat and Illumise could be switching over and maybe that'll be the shiny Pokemon, so that would be pretty neat if they did that. And then there's other possibilities out there. I mean, Caterpie's already shiny, so we can get tons of Caterpies. Maybe Weedle all the way up to Beedrill. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, that's this is a really cool event that just came out of nowhere, obviously. And yeah, tell me down below, what do you think the shiny's gonna be? And with all that amazing news out of the way, this is gonna be the end of the video. And if you enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash that like button for me. Show me some love. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload. And comment down below, have you gotten your Defense Form Deoxys? Are you excited about Shiny Bagon? How about the possible new shiny bugs? How about shiny Diglett? All these new possibilities. Please let me know in the comments down below and yeah, I will see you in the next one.